What is happening? Welcome to another Pitch Video Breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, and today we are going to talk about Mitch Keller. We had 13 strikeouts in seven innings yesterday against the Orioles. We have to talk about this. So I'm going to watch the fifth and sixth inning with you today, and we're just going to uh, jump straight into it. Of a hit and uh, there is a changeup at 88. Shocking. Changeup. Okay. So, wait. What does Mitch Keller throw? Right. He throws about 95, 96 mile per hour four seamers. They go straight. Uh, then you have, uh, let's actually get out the wonderful, we have four seamers that are going to go like that. You have the changeups that are going to go like this. This one came back over like that, which was kind of funny. What he's introduced this year is he has a cutter that he mixes up with this. that goes like this off of the, uh, off of the four seamer, but he also goes, I mean, I'm running out of colors here. He also has a, uh, a sinker that goes like this. That's a terrible color. <laughs> Um, is a sinker that goes off like this, and that's generally what he does. I mean, there's also a curveball and a, and a curve, uh, sorry, a curveball that comes like this, and a slider that goes like that. But this is the whole approach of of Mitch Keller, right? And he's allowed so much little hard contact, and I think it's based. My theory is that it's based on this four seamer going straight, and then you have this pitch going in this direction, and then you have this pitch going in this direction, and batters don't know. When it's going to stay straight, when it's going to dive off to the side left, dive off to the side right. And then you have these breakers and changeups as well that are just in the mix too. That is my view on what's going on with Mitch Keller. And we're going to watch it in action hopefully in in this asphalt. fifth inning. That full -on major league uh, so he just threw a changeup inside. Well, and then he matches that with 94 over the plate. Like so that's really good, right? So now you have the thing coming in there or falling in this way. That's how the changeup did. And then you have the straight. Four seamer, how do you do it now? You go back, Adam, 96, up and in. That's so nice! Because that's in a place where if it's a mistake and they don't swing, you're not getting beat. The bat doesn't end in a negative way for you, right? If he wants to chase, he does. That's so sick, up and in. That's amazing command there from Keller. Oh, beautiful. Okay, to a lefty now. So, what I tr oh, sorry, to a righty. So, what I traditionally talk about is what I love seeing from right... like. Same handedness as I want to see sinkers coming in. And if you do that, then you can spot a four seamer and you can play the game of is it staying straight or coming in and can really mess with the guys. Uh, Zach Willard does this per to perfection against right handers. Devin Let's see what Mitch Keller does. At a nine. Oh, he overthrows something. I have no idea what that is. 72. We're going we're gonna to restart this. Not to like about him. Okay, so that does look like the sinker, right? So you saw a little bit of the hump to it. He's trying to get that more inside. I think he got. Kind of a gift there, of wow, that uh, of that swing and miss because that was above the zone, came back down, didn't come into the zone. Those are the only base runners. And I think he goes for it again, and he misses. He misses. This is a miss. He got really lucky that it landed away. Right. This is actually supposed to be a, a sinker that comes into here and starts here and comes back over. Just enough. Fine. So now it's now it's Every one two. What you would traditionally see right now, it kind of does look like with the knee down here. I'm cheating a little, but traditionally one two count. You throw a breaking ball that you want to go like this. That is just what the book is. You've thrown up here. You've thrown a back door here. He's probably thinking like, oh man, that might happen here. But one two two strikes. You throw a breaking ball down the way. Played see. all 39 so far. And he tries to blow 97 past him. Oh. I love it. I, I really dig that approach because it's kind of like, well, all right. You think you're going to be waiting on this and maybe I can blow that past you. Brandon Hyde was but props to McCann there to hit, even when he's out. For, for catching up to that. And there is the breaking pitch that we expected. That's 85. Lots of good break on it. Probably the slider. Uh, I don't think maybe a slider is 87, 89. Maybe that's a hard curveball. It's going to be the slider. And you can actually see how McCann swings. Uh, he is, I mean, that's Adley Rochman. Just note how weird yeah, and awkward this out. swing is. Okay? Just think to yourself, like, is this a guy ready on it, or is he reacting late? Yeah, that's a, that's a, he thinks that might be a strike. His foot's down super early. You're not expecting a break. He's time for the fastball. So props to McCann there for, for getting wood on that, because that's very hard to do. And after seeing a reaction like that, right? What you traditionally want to do yeah, is you want to give another breaking ball because he's time for the fastball. He's not starting and he's got a oh bat in his hand. Oh, gosh. What? What? Oh, that's such beauty. Oh. 
That is so nice. Dotted sinker down away from Mitch Keller. Oh. Oh, you, are you kidding me? We're going to watch this again. Go away, Adley. Put him in. So he looks over. Even when he's not starting and he's oh. got a bat in his hand, he's ready to go. There is another per oh. A whole lot this year from an opposing. Like, how... How do you not love that? That is, that is just... Be I'm sorry I'm taking so long, but it's like... That should be the joy of baseball to you. That should be the joy of pitching. That's such perfection. All right, let's do it again. Let's do it again. And there's a... That, that's the, oh, and that's and it Keller too! Both of those are exactly perfect things. You have the dot and away strikeout, and then you get a quick out. How does Sandy Alcantara and, Mitch, and, and Zach Wheeler do this? They get quick outs with sinkers pitch. inside, and there you go. Swinging butt 93 from right on the inside Keller corner. You feel that you're supposed to feel that with two hands. Quick rule. Picking up a baseball as a pitcher. You don't do it with your bare hand. You take your glove and you scoop it. You scoop it like this. That's what you're supposed to do to prevent you slipping out of your hands. Mitch Kelly you should know better. You got away with that one. Oh, man. Oh, that was that was awesome. Okay, we're going to keep going here. Position two. As I promise, we're going to go into the sixth Orioles inning, too. have not scored yet. But... Change up gets the call. Keller, who's been brilliant, gets the call. as brilliant okay. as anyone we've seen this year. Woo! That's a beautiful convertible. Sixth. How about seventeen? He tries to. Oh, does it get it? Balls. And oh wow! <laughs> I mean, that's a nice take from Mullins. He's seeing a fastball away and thinks he's going to fall off. It barely does, but I mean, that's a beautiful O2 pitch, right? Like, he got the call. Oh, and he gosh. gets. Keller is locked in. I haven't seen this command from Keller. Second, this is this is insane. In, in the fifth only. Ah! Ah! I mean, this is a dangerous 0-2 pitch, but 0-0 for a first pitch strike. Yeah, sign me up all day with that cutter. Oh man. Look at. Oh, and there's a curveball coming back at 83. Oh my gosh. Mitch Keller is. This is insane command. The movement of everything. He's getting strikes with the curveball. He's getting strikes with the cutter. He's getting. He's dotting the sinkers along the edges. Uh, is this right? This is insane. Everything's been working. I mean, look oh at my that. gosh! So that's actually a really sexy pitch. He's got to get higher up, right? Like you're saying, Nick, it's on the inside edge. It's O2. O2. This is too hittable. Over here is fine. Down and in is actually the worst spot to throw a fastball. Worst spot. Good spot. Oh, no, 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 no. Good spot. Best spot. Right? Those are the three. This is in between those two. I generally, and then it's like best spot, worst spot, worst spot, worst spot. Honestly, I think this is the worst one away. That's just me. Um, this is better than this, though. It's easy to drop the barrel of the bat. You go straight to it. This is the barrel of the bat. It's harder to do it here. It all makes sense. Pr trust me. I mean, look at that. So fine. Fine. You threw, two, you threw a strike. It didn't work. There's that cutter again. 91. Oh, man. Gets the call. He's getting a lot of these calls right around the edges, but the fact is that he's in the shadow zone, right? Um, watch that one one more time. This looks like it's a changeup, or is it the cutter again? It's the cutter again. So you can play the game now of a four seamer up. That's what I would do. I would do a four seamer here now because you have these two cuts that are coming down like this. And you don't have a read on that fastball right now. Yeah, he tried to do it. I, I don't like the fact that this glove is here. If I'm a pitcher, I want this glove to be here. Because that's really, I mean, it, it's kind of like a triangle of elevation here. And the reason you don't want to put it here is because it's too close to the inside corner. Where the batter might think it's a ball. <laughs> I can't, I'm not accurate at all with my mouse today. So if you put it here, it's still the finally out of the zone. And you only want to miss one area, right? Like, if you went here, you're missing in two, right? You're, here, you're missing in two. You wanted to finally just miss in one. That's a much better drawing. Good job, Nick. I'm proud of you. But that misses, that misses essentially in two easy take, right? I tried again, though. He still doesn't have a good angle. I tried up middle now. Yeah. See, oh, 
Mm, almost. Almost. Just a little too high. Oh, man. So what do you throw now? Chain him down away has him. I uh, sinker inside. Anderson's coming back to over. What do you do? Started two, go a little two. more east to west. Sinker oh, coming back oh. over. Oh! <laughs> yes! Beautiful! Oh, that worked because he threw two cutters that went in that way. He threw a fastball that's going up, up, and then does that. Oh! Man, this is... I haven't had this much fun watching Mitch Keller in a very long time. I underestimated him, guys. I, I really didn't realize that his command was this good. Maybe it's just one day of it, but it's kind of been like this. Wow. Agency. Again, just an inning ago, this was a guy DFA'd by the Cubs. Forgotten the game. I mean, 0-2 again. He's pumping all these strikes and they're working. The 99 Orioles. up. Oh. He just threw 99 up. You got to throw a slider down away now. I mean, you just fouled that's that off. Catcher. You can't, you can't get him more off the free agency. Oh, that's and a another hanger. strikeout. I mean, Three yeah. in the inning. That, that's a hanger, but because he's so time in the heater that it's, it's, it's hard. Oh, my Bar gosh. Whatever. So that's Mitch Keller, guys. Um, I'm not going to continue here to the seventh. I uh, awesome, simply awesome. This is the command is insane. Command is something that doesn't stick so much, and it might be just one of those moments, but it's beautiful. This is beautiful, and Keller has really struggled with his command over the years. He is commanding so well. That was that was absolute brilliance. Props to him. I missed it. I, I really didn't realize the command was this good. Man, he's so good. All right, that is it for today. We're back, baby. We're doing these every day. You better sub. You better like. I mean, what are you doing? How could you not? This is the fun of what? baseball. Dang, look Join at you. me as I do these through the year. But that is it. So my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babbits be low. And your strikeout time, Mitch Keller!